What is up my Cranky crew? It's Ethan from Crank Game Blaze, and today I am bringing you guys a video that many of you have been asking for for a very long time. It is my setup video. So I thought I had actually a really, really fun time filming the, the my setup. I don't know, I was doing a lot of pan features and fancy camera work. But before this video starts, I just want to throw out there, I may have like a lot of goodies and stuff, but you do not need this if you want to make YouTube videos at all. Basically, all you need is a camera and sometimes you don't even need a camera all you need is just a if you want to do gaming videos you just need a computer and OBS which is free which is what I use to record my gameplay stuff but I just want to let you guys know you don't need all of these fancy gadgets and stuff and I, I don't want to like I don't want to show off or anything I just want to show you guys what I use to make my videos and how I make my videos so that's all that this video is I'm just showing you what I use because a lot of you guys are super interested and want to know what I use and rather than typing it out in a big long comment and saying that to a lot of people who ask all the time I thought that I would finally make this video when I started YouTube I didn't have a fancy setup or anything all I had was this camera right here my cameras my family's video camera and I pointed it at my TV and I turned my speakers up and I just talked louder than the TV volume and that's how I made my videos. It was just a camera pointed at a TV, and that's that's what it was. But without further ado, I am going to show you guys my setup, so let's get to it. So this is what you see when you first walk in. You just see that big, big light in my desk, in my computer and stuff, in my green screen. But I have two Asus 27PBQ9564126965. Monitors? I don't know what they're called. Asus PB2078Qs. I think that's what they're called. But they are two 27 inch monitors with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. And then I have them both mounted onto this like dual boom arm thingy. It just makes it a lot easier because I like moving around my monitors and stuff and bringing one forward when I edit stuff. It keeps my desk really clean and stuff because I don't have like stands on my computer I just have that one arm so it just I like my desk being really clean so it just keeps it real clean moving right along we have my two PlayStation products my two favorite consoles ever my PS3 and my PS4 they are awesome and that's what I that's what I use I've never had any Microsoft consoles believe it or not never had an xbox or anything but i've had ps2s had ps3s ps4s i've had game cubes i've had game boys i've had the ds's i've had the psps i've had the lot oh boy and then after that i have my razor gaming headphones these are razor kraken pros and they came in white because best buy didn't have the black ones there so yeah, I got the white ones instead, but I like them a lot. They go nicely on your ear parts. They're great. And then here we have my mic, which is a Shure SM7B. And then I have my Shure SM7B mounted on my Rode PSA1, which is another boom arm thing that I have. I do use a preamp with my Shure SM7B. The reason that I have to use a preamp is because this is an XLR microphone and it's not USB. So the only way to get it so I can record through my PC or my Mac and connect it is with a preamp or you can also get an uh, XLR to USB adapter but you will lose quality and audio. I suggest the preamp route because you will keep all of the all of the all of the, all of the audio qualities because with adapters you lose quality and stuff. This is the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. After that I have my Elgato Game Capture HD which is just my little baby doll. I use it to record my console gaming stuff for my PS3 and my PS4, but it is a great, great product. And they just came out with an Elgato Game Capture HD 60, which records in 60 frames a second, which we can, this is actually useful now because YouTube now lets you upload at 60 frames a second. But guys, this is so easy to use and it's so small. Seriously, my iPhone is bigger than this. It's bigger. Look at that. 
so you can easily fit it in your backpack or even your pocket and just take it to a friend's house or whatever. It's really easy to set up, but so if you're going to get a game capture device, plus it keeps the file size really small, uh, if you're going to get a game capture device, I highly recommend the Elgato. It's fantastic! After going to the Elgato's, we go into the PC gaming world. For my keyboard, I use a Razer Black Widow Ultimate, and for my mouse, I use a Razer Death Adder. These are both really, really good. I really love Razer products, mostly because I like the color green. Then up here, I just have all of my games for my PS3 and my PS4 and some Sims stuff. And then I have all these people that watch over me while I edit and record videos. I've got Wolverine, I've got the Hulk, I've got... The thing I've got Manny the mannequin. I've got I've got Greedo. I've got Star Wars characters, and I've got Glenn. Look at Glenny Glenny. Look at him, He's so cute. And then finally, I have my PC. I will leave PC specs in the description below. I custom built it, and I actually have a time lapse video of me building this PC from the summer. So if you want to check that out, link will be in the description below. I only game and record on my PC, but when it comes to editing, I use my MacBook Pro. And with my MacBook Pro, I use Final Cut Pro, which is a really, really great editing software. If you're using a Mac, I highly recommend it. And this is just a normal video. It's a Dead Rising 3 video, but you see the green screen look that I'm getting there, and people ask me all the time how I get my face cam look. So I will leave links in the description below for you people that want to learn how to use a green screen, uh, because I get that question all the time. So I make videos a lot, and with making all these videos, it takes up a lot of memory. So I have three hard drives, two Thunderbolt drives, and one USB drive. The Thunderbolt drive, the G Technology one, the G Raid one below is a four terabyte Thunderbolt drive, and then the one above it, that orange one, is a one terabyte Thunderbolt drive, and then the one above that is a 500 gig USB drive. Then after that, we have my lights here. I have this one big bank light. And then I have the four fluorescent lights going around the green screen. It just gives for even lighting, which is a very important part. And then I just have a clamp light uh, above my computer just to light my face a little bit more. And then after that, we get to my favorite part of my whole YouTube setup. I have I have a couple fan arts from you guys that you guys sent me in the mail. And I, I've hung those up and I'm actually gonna start printing out fan art that you guys have sent me and posting them on that wall. I wanna fill up the whole wall. Um, so yeah, you guys have been sending me a lot of fan art lately and it's been so awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna print them out and post them on my wall. Uh, so yes. Lastly, which I didn't show in the video, I do use Photoshop to edit my thumbnails and I use Audacity to record my audio and OBS to record my video slash live stream. Also, because I am using the camera to film myself right now, I use a Canon T5i to record my face cams and such. So there is that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I, I hope again you don't think, oh, to, to be a YouTuber you have to have all of this fancy equipment because that really isn't the case. I started out, like I said, just pointing my video camera at my TV and that's how it started. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I will try and reply to all of your questions to the best of my ability and give you the most flawless answers. So yes. But yes, that is my YouTube setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stuff. And if yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I know I say it all the time, but you guys mean the world to me, and I can't thank you enough. We have passed 16,000 subscribers, which is, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Thank you guys so much. I love you all, and you, you guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. Woo! Ah! Oh, I love him. <laughs> Let's get him back. Ah, oh, yes. Just do a little dance. Around this house. Spread this house. All over the kitchen. And you have been this house. He has found us. He's gonna take us. He's gonna grab us by the genitals.